Hi guys, this is Asher's channel. Picture this. This is my first episode. Okay, here we go. This is one of my bigger pitcher plants. Here is one of its pitchers. It looks like it looks kind of like a tube, but it has acid in the bottom. And if a fly goes in, it slips on the Paris dome, which is right there. And then it can't get out because of the lid. And it ends up drowning in the water at the bottom. Okay, let's look at this one. Here's my pitcher plant right here. Here's one of its pitchers. I really like the pitchers on this one. It's a nice purplish color with some green, too, on the Paris dome. And it's got pretty... It's got teeth on its peristome. You can maybe see if if you look closely. But this well, this one has spots in the inside, you can see. And I really like that one. Here's this one. Here's this one's picture. This one's pretty cool too, actually. Um it's it's got nice green pictures. This is the lid. And um, it's got a skinnier peristome, and it's got nice size pictures. And it's got a new one that's about to pop. It's about to form, and the lid's about to go up. And you have to spray these with humidity to make them do this. Here's an earlier one up here. And this gets bigger, and it turns into this right here. And then... It pops and ends up being like this. And, um, here is my other pitcher plant right here. Pitcher plants are also called Nepenthes. This one's got green pitchers similar to this one. Got a thicker Paris dome. And it's pretty similar to the other one, actually. And this one's this one is Sanguinea cross truncata. This one is uh, I'm not sure what this one's called actually because it did not come with a name tag. This one is Nepenthes um, spat. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. I think it's Spatrata cross Gymnothora. And here is my here is my rainbow eucalyptus tree. They have a rainbow colored bark in some seasons. And when it gets water, the bark, the trunk gets thicker and then it peels off like paper. And sometimes it can be rainbow colors beneath. And over here is my corpse plant. I just got this a few months ago. It's looking pretty good. And here is the first pitcher plant I've ever got. Right here. Here's its biggest pitcher. I kind of like this one because it always has, um, it always has some, um, it's always sticky on the edges. It kind of is now. And some are so sticky you don't even want to touch them because they're so sticky. But they produce sap. And that makes them sticky, and that attracts the bugs and make them slip, to make them slip in. And uh, let me get this one out to show you guys. Here is my other pitcher plant. It's kind of cool. I, I really like it. It's got little pitchers. Um, they're spotted on the outside. They look pretty cool. Um, it's a cross of a rare pitcher plant um, that I'll tell you in a minute. Um, but this is one of my favorites, I think. And it is Spectabulous Giant Cross. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but Archicolodes. I think Cross Spectabulous Giant. Um, 
here is my other pitcher plant right here this is one of its older pitchers it's nice and dark spotted a nice smaller peristome and I think it's pretty cool looking it's kind of like the other one but this one has bigger pitchers and it's not it's not it's not as tall as the other one but it's still pretty cool and um here's its other picture this is its newer picture it's light and it has kind of red spotting with a red peristome instead of a more blackish purple peristome and it doesn't have as much spotting in the inside but it's a nice like round shaped pitcher this one is Nepenthes archicolodes cross Rob Cantley. Rob Cantley I. But sometimes I'll call it Rob Cantley for short. Um, there's something I forgot to show you about this one. This one is vining. It's where the spaces between each leaf starts to get bigger. You see this space right here. It's larger than the spaces down here between the leaves. And that means it's vining. It's getting taller very fast. And that's the fastest period of growing. Here is my Nepenthes. This is my Nepenthes Voglii. It has a picture that's about to pop right here. It has very cool pictures, actually. The upper pictures is when it gets taller, and those are the pictures up high. And it's kind of shaped like a wine glass, and it's small at the bottom, and it gets big at the top. And it's kind of red, and they're really cool. But the lower pictures, like this one that's about to pop, they're long. And they're kind of black and darker, but they're sometimes lighter when they're about to pop. They look like this, but this is a dead pitcher. They all eventually die, and this is when this is an older one that died. But this is kind of the shape and everything, except all the top and the wrinkles and everything. But it's very cool. Here is my Nepenthes Hamada. Um, it has sphagnum moss growing at the bottom, and that is the kind of dirt that you would actually use for these. It does not have any pictures right now, but the pictures are very cool when it has some. And it has a baby, actually, on this side. And you can cut them off. And, um... And it will be another plant, but you cut it off at the root where they meet. And, um, but I, I like to let them get bigger before I do that, because sometimes it could kill the plants if you do it when they're too small. Um, here is my Nepenthes vichii. Um, it has a very cool picture right here. It's pretty big. Here's my hand next to it, but it's very cool. I really like its peristome. It's got some good teeth. Very hairy picture plant. It's got kind of heart-shaped leaves, actually. And, um, it has good spotting in the inside. And the hairs are like kind of brown. I really like this one. It's also one of my favorites. And I really do like the Hamada too. It is one of my favorites too. Here is my Nepenthes Rob Cantlei. It does not have any pictures right now, but it got a new leaf. Pretty good sized leaf. 
This one also has kind of heart-shaped leaves, and it goes out here, and then here's the leaf, and here's the cord, and it forms a picture right here. But you have to get it nice and humid to form those pictures, and you could spray the, the spot right there to help it form the picture. I think this is the last one I'm going to show. Here is Nepenthes Raja. It, it has the world's largest pitchers when it grows up. It is a very cool. The pitchers can be bigger than your head. They can be about three feet tall and pretty wide too. But this plant's looking pretty good. I got it not too long ago. Um, put it right there. Okay. Bye, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.